Friends, is your morning tea just not your cup of tea? Then try the tea blends of Viridian Tea Company. At Viridian Tea Company, they sell blends guaranteed to make you think outside the box. With such blends as My Enemy's Tears, Goth Librarian, Cyberpunk, and many more, your tea experience will be out of this world. Look for the blends at Tubby and Coo's Mid City Bookshop, located at 631 North Carrollton, or on Etsy at Viridian Tea Company. Try Viridian Tea Company today. Your taste buds will thank you. Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop. Before you get booked up, head over to 631 North Carrollton, right off Orleans, to Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop. Off the books, Tubby and Coos is a nerd mecca for books, board games, and geeky t shirts. So book it over to Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop at 631 North Carrollton. If you don't want to do it by the book, use their free Wi Fi and check their stock at tubbyandcoos.com. Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop, where it's all geek to me. Kasha's Bazaar has an unconventional inventory for the discerning geek collector. Comic book related collectibles, vintage New Orleans items, militaria, and plenty for your mundane friends. Kasha's Bazaar, 5727 Jefferson Highway, the unflea market. The Vaping Tiger at 2812 Athania Parkway, one block off vets behind the Lazy Boy Gallery. The Vaping Tiger has handcrafted artisan blended e juices. The Vaping Tiger, 2812 Athania Parkway, and vapingtiger.com. Join us this fall at ContraFlow, September 30th through October 2nd, a science fiction convention featuring writers, artists, and entertainers from all over the country. ContraFlow will have gaming, music, an art gallery, vendors, and more. This year's author guest of honor is writer Ben Bova, six-time winner of the Hugo Award and former editorial director of Omni Magazine. ContraFlow, September 30th through October 2nd at the Airport Hilton Kenner. For more information, check out their website at ContraFlow.org or find them on Facebook. Resistance is futile. Boldly going where no show has gone before. This is the Week in Geek on Fox Sports 1280. Broadcasting from the TubbyandCoos.com studios, here's David and Brian. Good afternoon, New Orleans. This is the Week in Geek on Fox Sports 1280, coming to you live from the TubbyandCoos.com studios. This is David D. Squared to Corbier with... Brian Held. How the hell are you, buddy? I'm wonderful, man. Hey. Are you? Are you, are you really? I am. How many pancakes can you fit on the roof of a doghouse? I don't know. It doesn't really matter because there's another geeky holiday that you love so much. I'm gonna this punch week. you in the face. It's Ask a Stupid Question Day that's normally celebrated on September 28th in order to encourage students to ask questions in class. How cool is that? Shut up. <laughs> you do this just to antagonize me. I, I love you, Dave. Yeah, as always, we. Strongly urge you to check out the Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash the week in geek, or check out our website at twigradio.com, or follow us on Twitter at twigradio and the Instagrams, the week in geek. And Brian, how can people listen to this lovely show? Well, once we're off the air, we're going to put that uh, recording up on spreaker.com, or you can download Spreaker for your smartphone or tablet. You can also catch us on iTunes, YouTube, and at foxsportsam1280.com. All right, well, let's lay out the show real quick. Of course, you know, we always open up our show with Scungy's Pick of the Week. He's but back. Who cares? What do you mean? I, I don't. Do you care? <laughs> I hey, do. shut up. Hey, you're not on the air yet. Be quiet. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so Scungy's Pick of the Week, and we're going to have an exciting guest in studio uh, named Sean Scuntrino. <laughs> and <laughs> You're dead to me. <laughs> and then, uh, as always, top nerd news, and we'll close out the show with This Week in Geek History. So without much further ado, let's bring on our boys. Scungy and his pick of the week. I am not what you would call a handsome man. Scungy's pick of the week is brought to you by GameStop and ThinkGeek.com. Scungy's pick of the week. You might be an idiot savant. Woohoo! Scungy, what's shaking bacon? I'm speaking to you in sign language right now. That's what's shaking. I, see, I am number one. <laughs> Thank you, are, you, you for are number one. Uh, not hey, much. man, we've missed you. Yeah, yeah, I was out in sunny California where yeah. the weather was wonderful and the games were plentiful. Yeah. Well, right, hey, so what were you doing there well, besides walking you, Sunset Strip? Do you want him to do his review first of the game before he gets to the... All right, fine. We'll follow the show notes. Yes. Mr. Oh. Mr. I have to do everything by schedule. Well, mm, okay. That's, that's uh, why uh, we write these notes, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're more so, like guidelines. They're more like, thank you. All right, what, what, what's your pick of the week? My this pick week? of the week is XCOM 2, which has been released on PS4 <gasps> and Xbox One. Hallelujah! Yeah, I knew you would be happy yes. about that one. Yeah, it's uh, finally come out for it. Um, so this game is set 20 years after the first one. Um, they assume, which probably correctly, that you sucked at the first game and lost. I oh, won. Wow. I'm, I'm one of the first try, and I'm not joking. I'm not being facetious. I actually beat the it pants off of that It game. doesn't count when you put in cheat codes, Dave. I don't oh. put in cheat codes. I'm just really good at, 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 at you know. At XCOM. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but now, well, so, but most people suck at that game. Yeah, turn-based it, it, strategy. It's I a rock. very, very hard game. And what they just, they said was the aliens have taken over Earth. Okay. And you're now, instead of defending Earth like you did in the first one, you're more of a resistance. So you're like guerrilla tactics. You're going on um, secret missions and you're using stealth dun, dun, tactics dun, dun, and dun, dun, sabotaging dun, dun, and whatnot. Dun, 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 dun. You still get to build your base up. You still get to do all that like cool turn based strategy. Right. But it's even harder now. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, I'm excited. How much is it? Uh, I, are we there yet? I just want to know how much it is. It's it's sixty bucks. All right, it's, I'll it, like, pay it. I'll pay that. Hey, you won't, I won't hear. You won't hear a squeak. Real real quick, you didn't apologize to PC gamers. Well, I'm not okay, apologizing. So they well, worked out all the bugs. It's, Thanks, dummies. It's old news because it's been out on the PC since February. Right, and nobody knew or cared. <laughs> yeah, no, no. This is what matters now that it's uh-huh, out on uh-huh, console. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. Okay, right. all right. Just, Wait, I, okay, you know what? Bring me the numbers of which one's going to sell more, the PC version or the console version. All right, we'll see. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, yeah, so anyway. is it, it? So it's harder. It, yeah, it's harder. It's um the cool thing about it is is that. Um, it's more. It's a little bit more story driven. So you're gonna, f- you know, get to know your squad, and okay. it's kind of like two. You know, the first one you think of as a chess match. Well, this is more yeah. like two chess matches. You have boots on the ground, but then you also are trying to keep them alive and follow, um, follow their story as oh, long okay. with as long with the base as well. So they've kind kind of kept it a little bit more separate. All right. Well, than they did before. That's interesting. But it, I mean, you know, it's I mean, it's XCOM. It's going to be fun. It's well, yeah. Be I mean, I, I, I had fun just messing with the color of their armors and giving them buzz cuts or mohawks. Or, yeah, and there's a know. whole new breeds of aliens and everything since they've been did on you get Earth. To play 20, aliens? No, you didn't get to play as the aliens, but there are a whole bunch of new ones out there than you're than you're not used to. Can you put an alien on your squad? Mm, not that I'm aware of, but you know, you can fighting I pretend one of them is an alien? Yes, you can. Okay, you can. Good. Bob, Bob is an alien. Bob the alien. Bob right. the alien. You know? All right. So uh, I, I would say price and platform, but we've already covered all that. So yeah. uh, you like it? It's good. I oh, should buy it. Yeah, I'm you, gonna. You're gonna. You're gonna like. If you like strategy games and you like a steep challenge, get it. If you don't like challenging, put it on like super easy. And so then XCOM still be two. What's the little tagline? It's I I ooh, is it XCOM just XCOM, it's XCOM two? two is all okay. they're calling it. It's all not right. like Enemy Within or Enemy Unknown or anything all right, like there that. We go. Or 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 the the, the deleted X Files one that was really horrible. Yeah, uh, that we the, the not talk bureau. About. Yeah. All right. So without much further ado, Scungy, tell us what happened in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Well, are your are your heels? There was there better? was smog. Um, there was sun. <laughs> um, the Rams. Tell us about played. the game. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I was at the GameStop Managers uh, Conference in Anaheim, California. Okay. Um, basically, it's for all the developers to tell all the GameStop managers, here's what's coming out by now, between now and the end of the year, primarily some stuff going into the first quarter of next year. Uh, this Up, is what we sell have. Sell our stuff. Up, sell our stuff. <laughs> sell our stuff. Here, we'll get you to let you show it. So, um, my biggest te- takeaways, I didn't get to play as much as I want. I saw a lot of stuff, but, I mean, you only have four hours on the show floor. You don't, you can't, there's impossible to do everything. Wow, that's it? Yeah, you Why only Why are have, they so stingy? Well, because they've got, you know, you've got meetings and everything to go to as well Aww. for three, you know, for four days. So, but I did get my hands on and probably just geeked out Star Trek Bridge Crew VR. What? So, <laughs> yes. So Ubisoft has made a game called Bridge Crew. Now it is three to you can it can support up to four players. Okay. One person is gonna play 
tactical. One person's going to play helm. One person's going to play engineering. And you can have a fourth person that's the captain. So Yay. that sounds just like Artemis Bridge Simulator. Right. It is very similar to it, and it's very dumbed down. I'm going to I'm gonna say that right now. It's very dumbed down. It's very simplistic. Yay! But you, it's VR, so you're going to have your VR helmet on, and it's supported through Oculus, through PlayStation VR, and through uh, Vive, HTC Vive. Um, the game is you have to work com- cooperatively with everybody there. So um, if you want power to the shields, engineering has to put more power to the shields and take it away from engines or take it away from phasers or allocate the power where tactical is going to sit there and fire f- uh, photon torpedoes right. and phasers and helm's going to do directional. Um, and the captain takes off his shirt and poses? Basically. Well, in our the demo that I did, and it was like it was a packed demo, I had to make an appointment wow. to get into this demo. Demo. Um, they had the guy who was running the demo was playing the captain, and he was just helping us along because we had never played the game. Going like, um, you know, he's like, "Mr. Scungy, check. Uh, we need more power to the uh, engines." I'm like, "Aye, sir." You know, it was yeah. it was you're getting into it and everything, and it's mission based. Like the mission we were on, Klingons were attacking this um, uh, transport. What, was it the Kobayashi Maru? It wasn't the Kobayashi. Maru. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, just, that's the. They want you to buy that, the That's game. the presidential election. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No um, politics in the show, yeah. Gunji. Um, so, but it, but it was a lot of fun, um, and it's cooperative. You could play, uh, like I said, up to four players, and I was so excited. And just the feel of you're in the VR, and you're like, I'm on the bridge of a starship. Yeah, it's so awesome. So that was one of the biggest ones. So I, I gotta so. ask real quick: was that all running through one console system? No, that was running through separate. Con- it was that one was one that was running on PC. Okay, but it is available. <laughs> but it's going to be on the PlayStation Four. <laughs> You're I'm number gonna, one, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> number one. So yeah, it's on so, the PlayStation. So, I mean, 4. how does that work? Is if you know you have your PlayStation Online. Four console? Oh, so. You've got people who are networking yeah, from ne- their home. Yeah, you can okay. network from your from other people's home. Whoever but, has online and whatnot. But if you have, if you have um, multiple VR setups, you can you can do it in one setup. Yeah, I think they're assuming setup. that most people can only afford one setup. Yeah, yeah it's not cheap. I mean, it's not, not to take away from like the Artemis Bridge Crew stuff. I mean, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, but we were at a con and we were already in the mood. We were already in the zone to role play it out. This this is going to be something that's for people that are not. You know, really role players per se, but well, can yeah. actually, you know, it helps them. It sets the tone and sets the actual looks of it. Right. Yeah. Ooh, you hear that music? I yeah. do. It's. It will, I guess we'll pick it up after the break. Well, yeah. Well, we're, well, we're end on the Star Trek note. No, no. Star that's, Trek that's, tune. Yeah. Yes. No, that's good stuff. There's a song in my heart, Captain, my captain. <laughs> All right, guys. Stay tuned. You're listening to The Week in Geek. When we get back, we'll continue to find out what Scungy did at the conference to get kicked out. Stay tuned. This is The Week in Geek on Fox Sports. This report is brought to you by True Car. Manhattan Boulevard at Harvey Boulevard on the West Bank. And if you're traveling to the West Bank on the Crescent City Connection, a stalled vehicle was just moved out of the roadway on the Riverbound Expressway. Chapatulis delays are still back up around Carrollton. I-10 West traffic is slow from Orleans Avenue to the Claiborne flyover. Also watch for heavy traffic going out to Metairie on I-10 West. We've got slowing between Carrollton and Power Boulevard. I'm Lisa Bakke. Follow us on Twitter at Total Traffic NO. If you're ready to buy a new car, download the True Car app. Just configure the new car you want, see what others paid for it, and lock in guaranteed savings from True Car certified dealers. It's that easy. Save time and money. Download the True Car app today. This report is brought to you by Lead Safe America. Well, temperatures in the low and mid 80s here next few days. Lots of sunshine in the forecast. We'll keep our eyes on Matthew, expected to become a hurricane over the next couple of days. Sunshine, 85 this afternoon. Clear, windy tonight, low 70. Sunshine for Friday with a high 81. Saturday, partly cloudy skies, high 83. Richard Wedding at the Weather Channel on News Talk 99.5 WRNO. Does your child struggle to concentrate and pay attention? What looks like ADD or autism may actually be caused by lead poisoning. Lead is a neurotoxin. It can cause permanent brain damage. Find out how to protect your family. Go to leadsafeamerica.org. Are you tired of being compared to products that work as hard as you do? Why not choose a brand like Valvoline that works harder now so you don't have to break your back later? Get five quarts of Valvoline Sin Power Full Synthetic or Full Synthetic High Mileage for just $26.99 at Advance Auto Parts. Synthetics with a reputation for reducing engine wear, which could save you a trip under the hood later. Advance Auto Parts. Let's get you back on the road. See store for details. 
Top appliance brands like GE, Samsung, and LG have a new home. JCPenney now sells major appliances in select stores and at jcp.com slash appliances. From washing machines and dryers to refrigerators and more. Save up to 30%. Plus get 30 months special financing on purchases of $7.99 or more after discounts with your JCPenney credit card. Get free delivery and basic installation on purchases over $2.99. That's getting your pennies worth. JCPenney. Subject to credit approval, must request a time of purchase. See store associate for details. Available in select stores. Financing terms valid 925 to 1010. America it was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full-color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 5454 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com, promo code 5454. Hey, everyone everybody. Listen up, because it's time to put on a new pair of Levi's and take up to 40% off. You heard right. Now through October 24th, Levi's and Macy's are giving you their lowest prices of the season on all your favorite fits. We're talking the men's Levi's 514 straight, women's 711 skinny, 535 super skinny, and more. Prices start at just $32.99. That's right, $32.99. But you better act now, because it'll all be over October 24th. Shop your nearest Macy's or go to Macy's.com today. Tubby and Coos, Mid-City Bookshop at 631 North Carrollton, just off Orleans and Carrollton. Books, board games, and geeky t-shirts. Find them on the web at TubbyandCoos.com and sign up for their geekly newsletter. Tubby and Coos, more than books. Come to ContraFlow Sci-Fi Convention September 30th through October 2nd at the Airport Hilton and Kenner. ContraFlow has writers, artists, and entertainers from all over the country. Vendors, gaming, music, and more at ContraFlow September September 30th through October 2nd. Find us at ContraFlow.org. The Vaping Tiger at 2812 Athania Parkway. One block off Vets behind the Lazy Boy Gallery. The Vaping Tiger has handcrafted artisan blended e-juices. The Vaping Tiger, 2812 Athania Parkway and VapingTiger.com. Conscious Bazaar has an unconventional inventory for the discerning geek collector. Comic book related collectibles, vintage New Orleans items, militaria, and plenty for your mundane friends. Kasha's Bazaar, 5727 Jefferson Highway, the unflea market. This is Captain Kells, Tim Russ. You're listening to The Week in Geek, Fox Sports 1280. Welcome back, New Orleans. You're listening to The Week in Geek on Fox Sports 1280. This is Brian Held with D Squared. Hey, man. Hey, man. All right, so let's continue this conversation with our boy Skungy and his picks of the event. I don't yes. Know. So, actually, Skungy, we were talking on the break, and, and something that, that you brought up is, is really important. How much... VR did you see at this event? There was VR was everywhere because VR is what they're really pushing like PlayStation VR, HTC, Vive and the Oculus. They're pushing it hard. Uh, the the PlayStation VR comes out in less than 2 weeks. Okay. What? Yeah, it comes out in less than 2 weeks. It's going to be available retail. Um and one wow. of the things I got to play for it was Resident Evil 7. Resident wow. Evil. So Resident Evil's been that that survival horror series that's been around for a while. Yeah, oh it's, yeah. And to the entire game of Resident Evil 7 can be played in VR. You don't have to, but you could play the entire game in VR. It, it, does it actually have normal VR, uh, like, like normal visual angles, or is it going to be like the weird first one where it's like the creepy camera angles that you no, never no, know no, no, it is like you? like you are like the the demo that I played I was sitting in a chair I was tied to a chair and this guy came in and uh, this guy was in the this kitchen with me and he was trying to you know he got up and he was trying to help me get loose and everything and then he got stabbed by this crazy woman and nice the, 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 the knife was like right in my face and she drags him around the corner and she kills him and you hear you see his head roll into the <laughs> room but the cool thing is you're in VR so you're looking and you're stuck in this chair and you can't move so all you could do is look left and right and around and you're hearing these noises all around you wow and all of a sudden you see these hands come over your vision oh nice and it was like i'm like people are going to crap their pants playing this game i'm <laughs> and not even joking was was that on an oculus rift no that was on the playstation vr okay all right yeah. cool all right and it's got the full like surround sound yeah it's headphones. got full you yeah. well okay the, it's gonna come with like regular just stereo headset but it is compatible with any type of stereo headset so okay. this is something that you're going to want to invest in you want to invest in a high-end like 7.1 surround sound 
headset for virtual reality. So, like some of the Turtle Beach stuff? Like the Turtle uh, Beach or yeah. whatnot. Okay. You know, so. Okay. Then uh, the other VR game that I experienced um, is Batman VR. <gasps> Get out. You get to be the bat. You get to put the cowl on and everything. Can, can you hear the crushing of their bones? <laughs> you feel the justice? They they justice! Did, the demo was very small. It was very short. It was more oh. of you just sitting there with the batarangs and you, you sit there and you're looking at yourself and you're looking at the, <laughs> the you're looking at the your arms and everything. Five hours then, of gameplay of just staring at yourself in the mirror. Well, wouldn't you if you were I, Batman? Yeah, I would. I would. The <laughs> cool thing is that you could you have the cowl and you look at the cowl and everybody was like everybody's just kind of looking at the cowl going, what do I do? You have to literally take the cowl and, and put, put it over oh. put it on. You know? <laughs> that is awesome. So that is that those those are the, the VR games that when, I when do we expect any sort of playtime? I mean uh or when 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 are like they looking at yeah. Well or, Batman is gonna be a launch title. It comes out in two weeks. Holy crap. Are so you, that one you, that one comes out and that that's only twenty bucks. It's not gonna be like a full game. Okay. That's one thing with VR coming out right now. Some of the games are gonna be full, but a lot of them are gonna be more kind of like tech demos. You know, they're gonna have like a licensed tech demo. I'm gonna have to pay for a tech demo. That's what PC well, players them, do. Yeah, some of them are like maybe twenty dollars and whatnot. It's not a lot. Like, you know, Batman's twenty dollars, but more and more like Resident Evil doesn't come out till January. Okay. But that's gonna be a full game. They have a couple of full games coming out. They have like fifteen disc based games that are released with it wow. with more but you also most games that you have now can be played in what's called the widescreen mode okay so if you like for instance you can play star wars there's going to be a star wars battlefront <laughs> mission as well that's going to be absolutely free if you already Yay! own battlefront i do um but you can play battlefront in vr it's just not it doesn't have it 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 looks cool because you moving your head around and you're in this widescreen yeah, mode. Right. But you can use the VR for anything like that. So, um, yeah, if you see your friend on Internet Explorer with VR, be worried. All right, so how much are we looking at on, on price points again with, like... VR, basic system, it's 400 Ouch. Just for, for the P- PlayStation VR. Okay. But you still need to have a PlayStation camera. Okay. Um, and those are 60 Now they have a bundle... That comes with the headset, the camera, two move controllers. You can use a regular controller, okay. but the move controllers are yeah, yeah, more, they're like, like half. Yeah, yeah they're the, more immersive. Yeah, no, and, I, I got you. Um, that's a hundred dollars more, so that's five hundred. Little lanyards on them. Yeah, like yeah. so, it's like five hundred for that. So I gotta ask, with all the VR stuff that that you were doing, did you have that the the crease on your forehead? I didn't wear it long enough to get the crease. Okay. I will tell you though, I got motion sickness. Really? <laughs> yeah, I had to take some Dramamine. All right, so let's let's move on to uh, non. On VR games okay. uh, for honor. Did, what's up? You know what? I had a little bit of apprehension about For Honor after the last uh, demo that they showed at E3. I yeah, thought the, the I loved it. I thought the single player looked very generic, but then I got to see more of it. And you're going to have full co op. You're going to have four versus four. You're going to have one versus four. I mean, one versus one. You're going to have a full campaign in each. Um, faction has four different classes, so you can play different, so four different Viking types, four different <laughs> four different samurais, and four different uh, knights. It looks amazing. I couldn't play it because the line was <laughs> literally around the booth. It was a two and a half hour wait. Dang. And like I said, you have a four, only a four hour show, so oh, you got yeah, right. to gotta pick your battles. So uh, when is when is For Honor coming out? It comes out in March first first uh, first half of next week. I'm excited. What, 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 what consoles is that on? It's going to be on uh, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Ah, boo. I know, All right, right. What, what else we got, Brian? Um, zombies in space. Okay, so <laughs> Call, of, Call of Duty Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is getting a lot of flack because you know Call of Duty is kind of very much more the same every year. This one I actually have a little bit of faith on because the, the single player looks a lot different. It uses like space, uh, physics-based compact you're like in zero gravity a first person shooter in zero gravity seems really cool it looks like it's going to work out but the zombies have been taken the zombie part of call of duty has been getting more and more popular every time yeah yeah and this time it's called zombies in space land it's set in the 1980s the characters are like a rapper that looks like from run dmc he looks actually nice. like ll cool j with the the red kanga sweatshirt oh and yeah yeah there's like a the cheerleader Adidas, there's a jock and there's a nerd <laughs> and um it's set That's in like awesome. an 80s amusement park and the person that's helping you out throughout the entire thing is the Hoff. Oh, David. The Hoff. And that was the coolest thing. At the conference, David Hasselhoff 
came out and what? started talking about well, what it. What else has he got going on? Well, it was it didn't matter. He's big was, in Germany, man. Yes, we know that. He was. He was. He started singing too. Oh, oh God nice. have mercy. <laughs> did you meet him? Did you get to touch I, his unfortunately, hand? Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet him. I did get to meet Ed Boon, though, the creator oh. of Mortal Kombat. Yes, we, 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 we mentioned that on the program. Yeah, yeah. we did. Yes. Yeah, and, we, and his new game, Injustice, which is coming out. <gasps> it's tell Injustice me more, 2, right? Tell me Injustice more. Injustice 2, yes, which is uh, based off of, it, it's the sequel to the first one, which more fighting DC characters versus each other. But this one has an awesome new mechanic where it's going to change the way online fighting's going. Okay. Because every fight that you win, you get a piece of gear that's going to boost your stats. It'll boost your speed or your power or your special moves. And as you play, you unlock more moves. Well, what you're going to unlock and what the way that your character, and it also visually changes your character, okay. the way that you play it, the your opponent's going to have it completely differently. They're going to have different gear, different bonuses, different boosts, and oh, everything so like, like that. Oh, so like what my Superman is going to be completely different from like your Superman once we get in the Ex- ring? Exactly. Like when you play online MOBAs and whatnot, or say like well, your arm armor makes you different even though you'll be the same class as somebody yeah. else your armor makes you different it's going to be the same thing with a fighting game it's the and first time they're doing something like that with a fighting genre it's what makes you special yes it does and it's going to finally kind of everybody's going to have to play it different and i'm really excited to see what it does to the competitive fighting all right well genre. we got a few more minutes before we hit the break uh halo wars and mafia 3 mafia 3 set here in new orleans right yeah it's called new bordeaux in 1968 you're playing a guy who's a vietnam vet who comes back and gets betrayed by the local mafia and he's out for revenge and starts his own uh his own family and it's like it's based off of new orleans so there's a french quarter there's the bayou and whatnot it's not like going to be accurate one-to-one you right because the french quarter is right next to the bayou right? exactly <laughs> yeah. we all know that we want yeah. we've all watched the big easy yeah. yeah now that so but i mean it looks really good it looks a lot of fun it's 2k games they make wonderful games and it, it they did a lot of justice Finally, the Halo Wars. Yes. I got to mention, because Halo Wars 2 comes out next year, but they're going to make Halo Wars 1 backwards compatible, and when you buy <gasps> Halo Wars 2, the Ultimate Edition, you get Halo Wars 1, plus nice. all the all the extra content. And I just want to mention real quick before we go to break, uh, the Overwatch Open is this weekend, the finals. Uh, it's been running all week. Uh, you can actually go to uh, the Overwatch site, see some of the uh, matches leading up to the finals right now. It's it's um, all streaming that live. Game, that game's probably going to win Game of the Year, more than likely. It's I fantastic. Mean, what I, is Overwatch? It, <laughs> it actually is on console. They what, have, well, no, it said Ask a Stupid Question Day. Ah, uh, 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 see, it's not so funny when I do it to you, is it? <laughs> that's not a stupid question. <laughs> that is... All right, <laughs> stay tuned. You're listening to The Weekend Geek on Fox Sports 1280. We'll be right back. This report is brought to you by Positive Coaching Alliance. Okay, so we're on your way up toward the Mandeville area on the causeway northbound. We had an earlier breakdown that has just been moved to crossover six, so watch for a few miles of backup. Northbound on the causeway. We also have some slowing westbound on I-10. Heading into Metairie, we've got delays building from Carrollton all the way out to Power Boulevard. Still heavy traffic on I-10 east from Carrollton to the Crescent City Connection going to the West Bank. I'm Lisa Bakke. Follow us on Twitter at Total Traffic NO. If you're involved in youth or high school sports, you need to know about Positive Coaching Alliance. PCA, a national nonprofit organization, develops better athletes and better people. PCA workshops help coaches, parents, and student athletes pursue winning and life lessons through sports. Visit positivecoach.org iHeartRadio connects you to all of your favorite music and radio stations in one free app. This fall, we give you even more control of how you listen to the radio. Save. Save the music you love on the radio directly to your playlist. Replay. Immediately replay songs and sing along again. Play. Search and play any song from our library of 30 million tracks. Skips. Enjoy unlimited skips. Offline. Save the music from your favorite stations offline and listen without an internet connection. Introducing iHeartRadio All Access. Coming this fall, your radio now on demand. If you need a quick loan, here are three reasons to choose Lindup.com, the better payday loan. One, our application is done entirely online and good credit is not required. Two, if you're approved, you could have cash in as soon as 15 minutes and climb the Lindup ladder over time to more money at lower rates. And three, Lindup has no hidden fees or debt traps. We only succeed when you do. Lindup.com, the better payday loan. Subject to availability in your state funding times vary by customer and an additional fee may apply. Lindup is licensed by the Department of Business Oversight pursuant to the California Deferred Deposit Trans- Transaction lock. The sound drop from Pepsi. 
Hey everyone, it's Alessia Cara. Scars to Your Beautiful came from a conversation that we were having in the studio just about the extremes that all these women go through just to feel beautiful. And you don't have to change a thing, the world could change. I want it to be like a wake-up call song. I want it to almost like talk to every girl. You don't need to change yourself. You are fine the way you are. Visit thesounddrop.com. Friends, is your morning tea just not your cup of tea? Then try the tea blends of Viridian Tea Company. At Viridian Tea Company, they sell blends guaranteed to make you think outside the box. With such blends as My Enemy's Tears, Goth Librarian, Cyberpunk, and many more, your tea experience will be out of this world. Look for the blends at Tubby and Coo's Mid-City Bookshop, located at 631 North Carrollton, or on Etsy at Viridian Tea Company. Try Viridian Tea Company today. Your taste buds will thank you. Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop. Before you get booked up, head over to 631 North Carrollton, right off Orleans, to Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop. Off the books, Tubby and Coos is a nerd mecca for books, board games, and geeky t shirts. So book it over to Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop at 631 North Carrollton. If you don't want to do it by the book, use their free Wi Fi and check their stock at tubbyandcoos.com. Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop, where it's all geek to me. Kasha's Bazaar, located at 5727 Jessen Highway, across from Red, White, and Blue. Geeky collectibles and more. Find them on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Kasha's Bazaar. Kasha's Bazaar, 5727 Jessen Highway, the unflea market. The Vaping Tiger at 2812 Athania Parkway, one block off Vets behind the Lazy Boy Gallery. The Vaping Tiger has handcrafted artisan blended e-juices. The Vaping Tiger, 2812 Athania Parkway and vapingtiger.com. Join us this fall at ContraFlow, September 30th through October 2nd, a science fiction convention featuring writers, artists, and entertainers from all over the country. ContraFlow will have gaming, music, an art gallery, vendors, and more. This year's author guest of honor is writer Ben Bova, six-time winner of the Hugo Award and former editorial director of Omni Magazine. ContraFlow, September 30th through October 2nd at the Airport Hilton Kenner. For more information, check out their website at ContraFlow.org or find them on Facebook. You're listening to the Weekend Geek. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Make it a habit, will ya? It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so... Here's David and Brian. Welcome back, New Orleans. You're listening to the Weekend Geek on Fox Sports 1280. This is Brian Held with... I do me. <laughs> so hard. I am so disturbed at that rejoinder, Dave. I know. That's why I do it. All right, Brian. So uh, it's it's top nerd news. Okay, we'll do that. And now your top nerd news stories from around the world, brought to you by Kasha's Bazaar at fifty seven twenty seven Jefferson Highway. And now your top nerd news stories. So out out the gate, Dave. I want to give some shout outs real quick. Uh, first, ah! <laughs> to the NOLA Horror Film Fest ah! that was out like, <laughs> last weekend um, at uh, Castillo Blanco, at the home of uh, Chewbacca. Yes, and uh, I I watched a few movies. Man, they had some really good stuff out there. Um, th- some creepy, weird European stuff. Man, it was like really, uh, yeah. Just I mean, just these d- brutal horror stories um but i, I like it yeah no i i enjoyed it i they they had a sci-fi one and and for the life of me i can't remember the name but um i was like why is this in the horror did it have game? real astroturf uh no, no. but uh it was uh, it was a good story i enjoyed it though so yeah. i was i was glad i was there for that and so yeah a lot of cool folks a lot of out independent there. stuff usually is pretty good because yeah. they're not they're not touched by you know they're not sullied by the hands of hollywood right and uh, the second shout out is to the Louisiana Ghostbusters. They invited Ooh. me to uh, their fan film screening event. Oh yeah, that they had, and it was at the um, the Firehouse Museum in Baton Rouge. Which you know, what better place to have I a like Ghostbusters? Their subs. Yeah, the what Firehouse N- subs? No, over his head. I know. Like, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> I, I, I kind of knew where you're going, but whatever. <laughs> okay, continue. So, but I mean, it's just where, what better place to have a Ghostbuster event than at a, a firehouse. firehouse, right? And uh, so that was really cool. And uh, yeah, um, uh, a lot of nifty stuff out there. I got to catch up with the whole gang. Um, they had a piece of um, 
the red carpet, which is actually Slimer Green, from the <laughs> Hollywood premiere that a bunch of them went out to, and they were sharing oh, cool. pieces of it out for, to, for the whole crew. So that was nifty. But uh, they should be posting their newest fan film out pretty soon, uh, number two. So uh, they've been shooting these cinematic quality fan films from the Louisiana Ghostbusters. Very silly stuff. Wow, so, nice. Yeah. So anyway, that's my uh, my shout outs. All right, there we go. All right, well, let's let's start off Top Nerd News with NASA again. Yeah, it's, I know. It's in the news. Dude, so uh, they're, 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 there's uh, talk of uh, Europa again, right. one of the moons of Jupiter, and uh, that we might not have to really try to land. We can just kind of like skim the surface and scoop some uh, like uh, water. Juice. <laughs> well, I mean, the, Europa the, juice. There's there's possible water plumes erupting out of out of Europa. And I mean, how incredible is that? You know, and the potential that the uh, core of of the moon is yeah. hot enough to to have life. My only question and it's not I'm not trying to be, you know, me. I'm trying to actually uh like what are the odds of there actually being like a microbe in just like a droplet of of water? I mean, what like water here like well, is there a lot of stuff in it? Oh yes. There is? Oh yes. They they already they already found that with uh on Asteroids, microbes, and asteroids. Really? Hey, you want to you want to really freak yourself out? Go get some water out of your tap and put it under a microscope. Oh, well, I live in New Orleans. I mean, I know it's horrible. Uh, <laughs> it's not that, worse, you know, man. They got they got brown water right well, now. Well, but I mean, it's extra protein. It's no big deal, <laughs> right? Mm, mm, just like mom used to make. <laughs> but no, it's very exciting news from from NASA, man. And Hubble still giving us great shots. I right? know. All right. So also tomorrow, speaking of great shots, Luke Cage <gasps> comes out on Netflix. Oh, uh, and I'm so excited. As am I, and bummed because we're not going to be able to see it tomorrow. I know. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're going to be where? This we're, segues in so nicely. It does. We're going to be at ContraFlow Sci-Fi Convention at the Kenner New Orleans Airport Hilton all weekend long. And uh, we, we've got a bunch of panels that we're a part of. Uh, we're we're emceeing the charity costume or the charity contest. Yeah, I'm going to be rocking the tunes as DJ Master Mike D. Yes. Squared. Yes. Yo, yo, yo. And then the charity auction, we're doing that too, which, which, if you come out, one of the items that's up for auction what? is our M- Maleficent Tones. M- Mal- Mal- Maleficent Tones? <laughs> yeah. Malifluous. That, that's the word I'm looking for. Thank you. <laughs> Maleficent. Um, yes. Um... But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we're gonna. What do... are we gonna do? We're gonna do what? We're gonna sing somebody to sleep. What? Uh, if if they want to like or have their voicemail or something. Oh, like with their ringtone. Yeah. So Sorry, we're... Jimmy can't answer the phone now. <laughs> right. But listen to us Thursdays at six on Fox Sports twelve eighty. I you know I did waka it. Waka waka. I did it for the Uber Geeks cosplay folks. Uh, they, yeah. So yeah. Uh, in any case, look, tons of stuff. I went and uh, saw some folks over the past few days uh, that have donated some great items. I got a Rick and Morty from uh, Derek Donovan, local comic book artist from okay. Marvel and DC. I got some great stuff from uh, our friends over at Heroes Corner Comics. Yeah. Uh, I got a nice Batman uh, statue. It's a black Sweet. and white statue. Yeah. Speaking of Heroes Corner Comic, so yeah. I, I got Flash number six, and I see in the show notes you want to talk about the Civil War Two update. Um, yeah. Did you? I already remember me misreading this. No, no, no. I um I was there yesterday and I picked up uh Civil War two number issue number five. Okay. And I also picked up Steve Rogers Captain America issue number five. And I'm I'm really digging it, dude. Okay. Like and, you know, the entire internet, right? The whole world freaked out. Yeah, right. Uh, Death threats abounded. Yeah. Right, because Cap being Hydra. How dare you make a Hydra? But what I what? find interesting is even though the uh, Cosmic Cube kind of rewrote Steve Rogers' existence. Right. His he is kind of the who he is. His true colors still shine through. Yeah. In that he's hey, Cindy Lauper. Right. He's still trying to uphold. Now he's trying to uphold the true now ideals of, of Hydra. Hydra. Yeah, that's pretty, that's that's nifty, man. I and, like that. And by doing so, he's trying to get rid of the Red Skull. He's trying to take him out. Nice. So yeah. yeah well, well, the that Flash. Could be the only one. The Flash, pretty much everybody in in Central City has Flash speedster powers right what? now. Yeah, a, a crazy ta- speed force lightning storm broke out, and there's like you know a hundred new speedsters running around. That's that's and crazy. I, I, I kind of like the new one that they got, the guy's name called Godspeed. It's what kind of cool? Yeah, Godspeed. Is is he faster than the Flash? Yes. Really? Yes. At the moment. At okay. the moment. All right. What else we got? Uh, top in nerd news. Uh, hey. What? 
now I completely forgot. Oh, we were talking about uh, Red Skulls, which are like Nazis. Right. And uh, Michael Bay's in Hot Water. Dude, I saw that, man. He really he really pissed off the limeys, man. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, uh, so there's a picture from the set of uh, Transformers The Last Night that Neat. shows... Uh, a picture of Winston Churchill's house with yeah, Bl- Nazi- Blenheim Palace yes, in uh, Oxfordshire. <laughs> <laughs> with Nazi swastika banners hanging from it. This is what kills me. I mean, I, I understand he wants to go for, you know, reality, but they, they hung gigantic. Gigantic Nazi banners. I mean, you could have CGI'd that crap in. You know, just put like gr- big giant green banners and then CGI it Don't in. Don't they physically put it yes. on? The ha- oh wow. Yeah, but yes. I mean, it, the, even if they would have CGI'd it, you'd still have the picture. You'd still have the outrage. Well, right. But it would come once the movie came out. So, but here's my thing. I don't understand why they're getting so pissy pants about it. Because I mean, think about it. Uh, like like my favorite author, Harry Turtle Dove. I mean, you know, he's. So many people have written alternate histories where, you know, the Nazis have won. If Operation Sea Lion would have gone through, you know, they would have hung Nazi banners from that place. You're you're using logic and reason, Dave. I know, but I'm just saying that, you know. <laughs> the internet it, does not have these things. <laughs> well, right. I mean, pe- people, somebody put up a, 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 a tweet with the picture in it and everybody lost their minds. Right. Yeah, I, look, I, I think it's kind of silly, but also I'm not British, right? So I mean, I guess it would be kind of like if somebody well, I, well, I mean, nobody look, nobody got a, a upset with the man from High Castle with the the Statue of Liberty covered. Thank with, you. I, I forgot to say that. Yeah, you're right. You're exactly right. Yeah, because I mean that that's a whole series based on that, but right. it was basically based in America, so there wasn't a whole lot of. You yeah, know, it's a little closer to home for the for the Brits. So. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, they, I mean, it, it, it you know. I, look, you know, you're you're not going to be able to say anything until the movie freaking comes out. You yeah, know? right. I mean, so, I'm actually kind of interested in this one, right? You because know? you know, going back in time, you and, know. And he's look, he's like, look, you know, I've never disrespected a vet. He did Pearl Harbor. He did yeah. uh, that other movie. Well, I can't remember. Pearl Harbor is up for debate. But y- three hours of uh, explosions, know. right? But the the thing <laughs> is, I love is, you. I love you. I'm you, dead. I love you again. You know, I'm Michael alive. Bay came out saying, "I, you know, I respect veterans." You know, yeah, all yeah. so I, I don't no, know. Yeah, he he wasn't trying to take some kind of dig at you know that. Yeah, no, speaking, I think everybody's just looking to be outraged. Well, speaking of stupid people being outraged, what iPhone users? Oh, who yeah. fell for? <laughs> <laughs> How stupid can you be? So it, this. This guy puts out these videos. He started out, he had one. It was like, if you download this app or do whatever, and you put your phone in the microwave, it'll charge it. It'll charge. It. Yeah, and people yeah. actually destroyed their phones. Download this app. It'll become waterproof. And now, with the, the lack of a headphone jack, he's like, look, there's a secret headphone jack hidden in here, and you just have to drill it out. And then and, and then he faked it on the video where he put headphones in and made it like it played. Ten million views. Right. And uh, yeah, like like they actually the likes outnumber the dislikes by a good fifty thousand. Well, because those are all trolls <laughs> and they're full of Schadenfreude, right? <laughs> I, know. I need to. That reminds me, I got to go like the video after the show. <laughs> oh my god! I put that in there for, for you. Is oh, it well, time thank for... you. Yeah, it is. But uh, all right, Supergirl's coming out October tenth. Man, when we get back, we're gonna talk about real quick before we do uh, this week in geek history. Uh, we got to go through the rundown of the new uh, fall series okay. that, that are coming out. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff coming out. All right, here we go. All right, guys, stay tuned. As soon as we get back from the break, uh, this week in geek history and a few uh, updates on TV. So, yeah, so, <laughs> that's what we'll Stay do. tuned, guys. You're listening to The Week in Geek on Fox Sports 1280. Are you tired of being compared to products that work as hard as you do? Why not choose a brand like Valvoline that works harder now so you don't have to break your back later? Get five quarts of Valvoline Sin Power Full Synthetic or Full Synthetic High Mileage for just $26.99 at Advance Auto Parts. Synthetics with a reputation for reducing engine wear, which could save you a trip under the hood later. Advance Auto Parts. Let's get you back on the road. See store for details. Top appliance brands like GE, Samsung, and LG have a new home. JCPenney now sells major appliances in select stores and at jcp.com slash appliances. From washing machines and dryers to refrigerators and more, save up to 30%. Plus get 30 months special financing on purchases of $7.99 or more after discounts with your JCPenney credit card. Get free delivery and basic installation on purchases over $2.99. That's getting your pennies worth. JCPenney. Subject to credit approval, must request a time of purchase. See store associate for details. Available in select stores. Financing terms valid 925 to 1010. 
Coming this fall to AM 1280 and Boomtown Casino and Hotel on Peters Road on the West Bank, The Ricky Jackson Show. Join NFL Hall of Famer Ricky Jackson every Monday night at 6, starting September 12th at Boomtown Casino and Hotel on Peters Road on the West Bank and only on AM 1280. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? My neighbor. Mr. Rogers passed along friendship, hoping we would too. Friendship. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Hey, everybody, listen up, because it's time to put on a new pair of Levi's and take up to 40% off. You heard right. Now through October 24th, Levi's and Macy's are giving you their lowest prices of the season on all your favorite fits. We're talking the men's Levi's 514 straight, women's 711 skinny, 535 super skinny, and more. Prices start at just $32.99. That's right, $32.99. But you better act now because it'll all be over October 24th. Shop your nearest Macy's or go to Macy's.com today. Kasha's Bazaar, located at 5727 Jessen Highway across from Red, White, and Blue. Geeky collectibles and more. Find them on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Kasha's Bazaar. Kasha's Bazaar, 5727 Jessen Highway, the unflea market. Tubby and Coos, Mid-City Bookshop. Before you get booked up, head over to 631 North Carrollton, right off Orleans, to Tubby and Coos Mid-City Bookshop. Off the books, Tubby and Coos is a nerd mecca for books, board games, and geeky t-shirts. So book it over to Tubby and Coos Mid-City Bookshop at 631 North Carrollton. If you don't want to do it by the book, use their free Wi-Fi and check their stock at tubbyandcoos.com. Tubby and Coos Mid-City Bookshop, where it's all geek to me. Friends, is your morning tea just not your cup of tea? Then try the tea blends of Viridian Tea Company. At Viridian Tea Company, they sell blends guaranteed to make you think outside the box. With such blends as My Enemy's Tears, Goth Librarian, Cyberpunk, and many more, your tea experience will be out of this world. Look for the blends at Tubby and Coos Mid City Bookshop, located at 631 North Carrollton, or on Etsy at Viridian Tea Company. Try Viridian Tea Company today. Your taste buds will thank you. The vape. Sleeping Tiger at 2812 Athania Parkway, one block off Vets behind the Lazy Boy Gallery. The Vaping Tiger has handcrafted artisan blended e-juices. The Vaping Tiger, 2812 Athania Parkway and VapingTiger.com. Join us this fall at ContraFlow, September 30th through October 2nd, a science fiction convention featuring writers, artists, and entertainers from all over the country. ContraFlow will have gaming, music, an art gallery, vendors, and more. This year's author guest of honor is writer Ben Bova, six-time winner of the Hugo Award and former editorial Real director of Omni Magazine. ContraFlow, September 30th through October 2nd at the Airport Hilton Kenner. For more information, check out their website at ContraFlow.org or find them on Facebook. Now back to The Weekend Geek on Fox Sports 1280 with local celebrity Brian and that other guy. Uh, what's his name again? David, I think. I don't know. David? Yeah, it's David. Okay. Welcome back, New Orleans. You're listening to The Weekend Geek on Fox Sports 1280. This is Brian Held with... The Other Guy. Yeah, there we go. All right, uh, Fall TV. Fall TV. All right, so uh, Supergirl is... Uh, oh, man, I lost the dang thing. I'm a jig. Um, I am terrible. You know, I, I noticed... We were um, chit-chatting during we, the Yeah. Uh, I noticed the, in the trailer for the Supergirl uh, deal... That uh, I Superman. find, uh, yeah, Superman's there, but I find it odd that it's a different actor than the movie. Oh, well, because they can't afford the uh, movie actor. No, DC, they no, they wanted DC wants to keep the movies and the TV and separate. I just, well, I, that's true. I, and I just personally, and it's not like a dig or anything. I just think it's kind of ridiculous. Like you know, Nick Fury showed up on Agents of Shield, and it was Samuel L. Jackson, right? I mean, it wasn't. So, so what you're saying is DC just can't do anything right because they, <sighs> if they don't do it like Marvel, they suck. Well, they do suck, Shut but that's besides face. the point. Anyway, right, tell I'll, me about well, Supergirl. Well, uh, it, it's going to be awesome. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm catching up with it on Netflix, but actually what I really wanted to talk about was uh, we didn't get, really get into uh, Luke Cage. Oh, um, yeah. No, so I'm tomorrow super it comes out, but does it come out like midnight tonight? Um, so where, where people can start binging it, or mm, like, because I mean, September thirtieth is technically midnight. Yeah, I it may. I, I don't know how to, Netflix rolls. I'll, you know, look, I'll look it up while we're we're talking. Keep talking about. Um, okay, well, Supergirl. What were you going to say? Scottie? I was just saying, I think it's really good for the show that it moved to the CW. Oh I yeah, think that's probably the best thing for it because CW is one of those networks that gives a show a chance longer than it should sometimes. Oh yeah, but it it does give let well, it that, bud and bustle. So. 
the week of October 10th, I mean, uh, October 13th is like Supernatural, Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, I think. I, I think they're putting The Flash and Supergirl back to back, or are they putting on sip or, or different days. I don't know. See, I, I lost my fall TV schedule. I left it on my desk. Oh, well. All right. Well, Brian, you know what we need uh, to do? Westworld. You talking about oh, Westworld? Oh, God. See, thank you. You're welcome. I, this is why we have show notes, Brian. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Westworld. So uh, that, that comes out this Sunday on HBO, uh, 9 o'clock, I think. And uh, that's, the you know, Anthony Hopkins, and it's the remake of the, uh, when, when that Mule movie come out? Uh, 19, it was like the 1960s, the late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, with what's his name? Yul Brenner. Yul Brenner. Yeah. Uh, real quick, Luke Cage starts streaming on Netflix at 12.01 a.m. Pacific. Pacific? Right, so that means it's like 2 a.m. for us. Well, that's, that sucks. Yeah, so if you want to stay up late. Uh, yeah, well, I'll be waking up at 3 a.m., so I guess maybe I, I won't even have time to watch an episode. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so time for... This Week in Geek History. We're sending you back to the future. Yes! Oh, my God! This Week in Geek History is brought to you by Five Stones Media. Find them on the net at fivestonesmedia.com. This Week in Geek History. Yes! Oh, my gosh! Da-da-da. Da-da-da. All right, you ready? No. Yes. Uh, <laughs> September 26, 1982. <laughs> You know, Scungy brought up the Hoff earlier, uh-huh. and uh, David Hasselhoff as Michael Knight and a car named Kit begins its run on NBC. It's Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Yes. They're yeah. making a Lego Dimension set for it, too. Are they really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. You're entirely too giddy about that. I'm happy about that. The man the likes his Legos. Yeah. And his cheeseburgers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this, uh, this one's cool. Uh, September 27th. 1905. Albert Einstein's paper, Does the Inertia of a Body Depend on Its Energy Content, is published, introducing E equals MC squared. Wow. Yeah. And and to be later misused by millions of people and put in <laughs> promos and like like the intro to Twilight Zone. Right. Just, Ooh, <laughs> physics. <laughs> oh, scary. <laughs> 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 What's next? <laughs> what? <laughs> Your physics homework. Scary. <laughs> uh, September 28, 1980. It sees the first episode of Carl Sagan's Cosmos with the shores of the cosmic ocean on PBS. Did you did you watch that as a kid? Yeah, because it was on uh, YES, Channel 12 here. Yeah. yeah and that, that's like, you know, back when we had UHF. Yeah. It was... Uh, when it was first broadcast on PBS in 1980, it was the most widely watched series in the history of American public television until wow. Ken Burns' The Civil War in 1990. Huh. I, rem- yeah. I remember that, too. Yeah. Good Lord. Well, see, yeah, because, I mean, you know, my, my dad would pretty much just leave it on YES because you had uh, Sagan, you had the Civil War, then you also had Doctor Who. Oh, uh, that's yep. true. You know? Yeah. And I watched it all in beautiful, non-HD black and white. <laughs> <laughs> You still have black and white? Yes. Oh, wow. Even in the 90s. We had a floor model TV when I came up. It was good stuff. Seen it? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. All right, next (laughs) on the list. A lot of TV on this one. Uh, September 29th, 1985. Well, it is the fall, so a lot of fall premieres came out. Richard Dean Anderson. Oh, oh, MacGyver! There you go. (laughs) They the just pilot, remade it. Yep, they just remade it. But uh, bastards, dude, I love that show so much as a kid. I mean, I you know I realize it's a I always hokey, kept but... a potato and a paper clip and some foil in my car at all times. <laughs> you never know. I was you so I was so upset by the MythBusters episode, the MacGyver and MythBusters. It, it broke my heart. Yeah, I didn't watch that. I refused yeah. to watch don't, it. Don't watch it. Don't let him destroy your heroes. Your Every, yes. Everything, everything was was busted. Oh, just about everything was busted. Oh, <laughs> that's. <laughs> Man, it's sad. Yeah. yeah. Um. All right. Let's see. Um. <laughs> September thirtieth, nineteen ninety-seven. <laughs> Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game, also referred simply to Fallout, developed by Interplay and its division Dragonplay, self-published on uh, this day, and um, 
Yeah, and Bethesda bought it out? Uh, yeah, well, eventually. But, uh, <laughs> Give us that. Fallout is seen as the spiritual successor to Interplay's classic 1987 Wasteland. <gasps> We know that guy. We do know that guy. We we know secrets about that mm-hmm. guy. Also, um, when can we talk about those secrets? Uh, you know, I need to contact him and see if we can we can, call him. Let's yeah. call him on the air. <laughs> no, we're not do calling him right now. But also, um, a couple of years later, also on the same date, uh, Fallout Two was released. That that's pretty cool too. So on the same date, on the same date, wow. yeah. All right, continuity. So, uh, last continuity. Uh, last item on my uh, this week in geek history. What? I, October 1st, 1958. NASA is formed, taking over for the existing National Advisory Committee on Aeronautics. And you know what? NASA sounds a whole lot better than NACA. <laughs> <laughs> Shama, lama, ding, dong. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. All right. So, well, that, that, that works out. Yeah, so uh, you ready for some uh, birthdays? I am, I am. All right, uh, on the 26th, it's uh, Linda Hamilton. Oh, uh, Terminator. Terminator. Yeah, she lives on the West Bank, apparently. Yep. So so does Lady Gaga, and Pink lives in Kennebra. No, I'm serious, she does. Hi, Linda. On the 27th, Gwyneth Paltrow, Pepper Potts. Yes. Yeah. On the 27th, also, Marvin Lee Aday. Also known as Meatloaf. Oh, oh my God, he had a real name. He did. <laughs> yeah, you fool me. You know, his daughter is the is dating the guy from is married to the guy from Anthrax. Oh my God, Scotty in. All right, um, so we only got about a minute left. All right, 29th, uh, Zachary Levi. He's uh, in the series Chuck. He is Chuck. Oh, okay. Uh, on guy. the first, Zach Galifianakis. Zach, between yeah. two ferns. Yeah, there we you didn't go. get that interview. Yeah. And uh, on the second, Avery Brooks, best captain ever. Sorry. Most okay. insane captain ever. Well, he's but... also the one from New Orleans, too. Yeah, oh, no. yeah. yeah. no, he's great. I, I love him as Cisco. He was awesome. Yeah. All right, only a minute left? Yeah, only about a minute left. So, look, uh, this weekend, come out and see us at ContraFlow in uh, the airport Hilton in Kenner. Uh, come see us out there. We'll have a table and also... Free we'll... swag. Yeah, free swag. Uh, Kim Richardson will be out there. Yeah, she is on the road right now, headed this way. Hi, Kim. <laughs> Come yeah. play games in the GameStop area. And then, oh, yeah, you're doing GameStop yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, and uh, John Mangus is in town. He's running around just high, John. Without his shirt on, probably. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Making old women, you know, croon. <laughs> swoon. That's yeah. it. Swoon, not croon. <laughs> <laughs> they might sing when he's done. Yeah. But uh, also, uh, yeah, Tubby and Coos will be out there. So, uh, look, guys, come on out there. We'll be out there all weekend long having fun. Check out the panels. And uh, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Check us out on Spreaker. Give us a follow. Till next time, keep your nerd flag raised high. G F L. We are Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. Twelve eighty W O D T New Orleans, an iHeartRadio station.